Hi, my name is Dimitri, Principal Product Manager for Jira at Atlassian, and I am excited to announce a new set of robot skills for Jira Admin. This new set of robot skills will enhance admin efficiency by assisting with Jira configuration management and troubleshooting through natural language chat. With the new Jira Admin robot skills, you'll be able to troubleshoot permissions, diagnose user access issues, understand the root cause, and follow guided steps to resolution. Configure and learn about workflows through natural language chat and also get clear guided instructions with direct links to navigate more quickly. Here's a quick demo for Robo Jira admin skills. Let's start with permissions troubleshooting. Let's start with a common scenario. Imagine I'm a Jira admin and I receive a question from a user. Hey, I can't open this work item. Do you know why? There is a link to the item, so I click it. Why cannot John Smith access this work item? Well, uh, Rob explains that John Smith cannot access this work item because he is not assigned to a role with required permissions in this space. The browse project permission must be granted and user must be assigned to a role with this permission. In this space, uh, browse project is granted to the administrators and developers role. So the recommendation is to assign John uh, to either administrators or developers role and make sure that this role has browse project permission. Well, John is a developer, so let's assign John to developer's role. So that's done. To confirm, I'll ask Robert to validate that John now has access. Can John access this work item now? Robo confirms that John is now a member of the developer's role and should be able to access the work item. So that's great. Uh, at this point, I would ask John to double check, uh, but let's assume the problem is solved. So here's a quick demo of the workflow builder in Jira so we can see this new feature in action. So this is a workflow. Uh, this is a workflow for the legal team, uh, which is quite straightforward. Just several stat statuses to do draft, legal review, optional second review, and done. And this uh, workflow can be used for uh, documents legal review or for any legal review uh, with the legal team. For the workflow builder, it can be started either uh, by clicking on this button or you can use several pre-defined uh, um, conversation starters from here. But let's start it from here. And let's imagine I'm a Jira admin trying to improve this process. So I'll start with asking Workflow Builder to suggest the process and required statuses and transitions to support a new use case for this workflow, which will be contract negotiation cycle. And I also want to reuse legal review status for this process because I think it will be useful for new process as well. So let's do it. Great. So uh, it suggests to create several no new statuses and transitions to support this additional new part of the process. So let's do that. It just created several new statuses. I'll just move them around to make sure it looks a bit nicer. Also, it created uh, several global transitions by default, but I can just ask it remove global transitions. So now I have two more uh, statuses that support this additional contract negotiation uh, cycle as an optional part of this process. Now let's imagine I also want to make sure that one of my users, uh, which is uh, Cassie Owens, uh, can move this work item, let's say, from approval to done, and only this person can do this. From approval to done. So again, I want to make sure that uh, only Cassie Owens can move the work item from approval to done. And that will be approve contract transition. Uh, great, so it suggests uh, to create a new workflow rule. Uh, let's just do that. And now we can see this rule has been created. Now only Casey Owens can see this transition and move a work item from approval to done. Uh, another example could be, um, let's say a legal team should have not more than 14 days uh, when working on this document or when reviewing the document. So uh, let me ask this. Before the document is moved to draft, make sure um, that both start date and due date are always set. And due date is not more than 14 days from start date, which gives two weeks 
uh, to the legal team to review uh, and approve the document. And now we're talking about submit first draft transitions transition. Great, so now it suggests to create uh, two more additional rules. Uh, let's create them and see what happens. So now on this transition, it created two more rules. The first one ensures that due date and start date fields are set. And the second rule ensures that for the due date, um, the date is within 14 days period after the start date, which is exactly what I was hoping for. So that's it. Then I can just update the workflow and apply it to all the work uh, items I want. Here's a quick demo of the Rover Jira admin skills, showing how Rover helps answer frequent questions about Jira configuration. First, imagine someone asks, why did my colleague in San Francisco have Jira maintenance in the middle of the day? Let's ask Rover. Great, so Rover responds with a recommendation uh, referencing Atlassian documentation and the current Jira configuration. It says that my colleague in San Francisco experienced Jira maintenance in the middle of the day because the maintenance window is set to 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. in the site's time zone, which is GMT, which corresponds to daytime hours in San Francisco. It also says that if I want to change maintenance window, um, I can request a change by reaching out to Atlassian support. Great, um, let's take a look at another common question. What's the limit for the number of fields and how many fields do I have? And where can I clean them up? Let's ask Rob again. Great, so Rob says, I currently have 74 fields configured and the field limits are 700 fields per space for company managed spaces and 50 custom fields per space for team managed spaces. The TMP limit is enforced now while the CMP limit will become a hard limit starting February 2026. If I need to review, manage, or clean up my fields, I can either go to Fields Configuration and do this manually, or I can go to Site Optimizer to review.